So we're moving on now to rotational motion and this is when you have something spinning on the spot where it has like a fixed axis um, so it could be here's a side view a disc that's spinning on a central axis okay could be spinning one way or the other um, it has a particular radius and uh, yeah so we, we strike a few problems when we're trying to encounter uh, deal with these uh, sorts of things uh, when we're trying to use uh, traditional translational or linear uh, descriptors. Um, so for example, if I place an object here and another object here, um, the one, as this disc is spinning around, the one on the inside here covers a smaller dinner, a distance, a smaller dinner, smaller linear distance. This one on the outside covers a greater distance, yet there's one consistent motion going. So we, we lack the way uh, the uh, a tool to describe this. So what we do is uh, we consider uh, the, the the displacement, but not the linear displacement. We consider the angular displacement, which we um, call theta, which is used usually in maths for an angle. So if we consider the angle turned through theta, that takes out the problem of dealing with a distance covered by one thing one thing here and another thing here being all different. So we have this this theta to describe angular um, displacement. And when it comes to velocity we're interested in the angular displacement over time. Okay, theta over t. But we need a rotational equivalent because it's not just distance over time, it's, an it's angle turn through over time. Um, I should say as well the angle we usually talk about in this term is the radians, is measured in radians. And we'll get to a little bit about that shortly. So the angle turn through over time, we would call that the angular velocity. And we use not a W, but an omega. It's a small omega. You might have seen the large omega for ohms. This is a, a small, the, the lowercase letter. And similarly, for acceleration, we have um, the change in angular velocity over the time that it changes. Um, and we would call that alpha. Greek letter alpha lowercase as well. Okay, now um, going, getting on to conversion, it's useful to be able to convert between the two. Okay, so we would like to uh, convert the, this distance covered um, uh, to from from radians into um, a, a linear measurement of meters or centimeters or whatever like that. Now we can use one simple case, which is with a circle, and we know this has two pi radians, we know that is 360 degrees. So we also know that um, the total distance, so this is this first part was the radians, we also know the total distance um, is going to be 2 pi, which is the angle turn through, times by the radius. And for so for half the circumference we could just be pi uh, times the radius, because that's half of 2 pi r gets cancels out the 2. And it turns out that just simply multiplying by the radius is our nice conversion between our radians okay, and, and our linear displacement. So uh, I'll just scroll down a little bit. And it works out as well, I'm not going to get into the detail of the rest, but it works out as well that um, for converting uh, for, for any of these to convert to their uh, linear versions, all you have to do is multiply by the radius. Isn't that cool? Very nice and easy. And this also uh, gives us this idea of the radians. If we go back up to um, radians here, um, radians in, in one circle, in one loop, um, going back to it again, we've got 2 pi r is the circumference, whoops, sorry, 2 pi is the, uh, yeah, that's what I'm stuck with that, 2 pi r is the circumference, and it gives us a distance measurement. Um, if we uh, rearrange this, um, uh, hang on, I'll, I'll put it another way. <laughs> Radians is a, uh, yeah, no, no, we'll, we, will, we will stick with that. What, what I'm, okay, 
We, yes, we're all, yep, we're, all, we're all stuck with that. I'll, I'll, I'll make it nice and easy. I'll just go down to a clearer space though, because I need a little bit of rearrangement. Um, if we know that 2 pi uh, equals the circumference, um, we can rearrange this to see what, because remember we're dealing with this 2 pi part in terms of radians. Um, we can we can rearrange this to be theta equals the circumference over the radius. And what we notice is a circumference is a uh, a distance measurement measured in meters, SI units, and our radius is a distance measurement measured in meters. That means meters over meters will cancel, so our radians are actually unitless. They're not a true unit like degrees or um, so when we're dealing with radians, it's it's unitless. We do often talk about uh, if we're dealing with um, angular velocity or angular acceleration. Radians turn through per second. It's not rads, it's rad times per second. And same with acceleration, it's the radians turn through per second per second. So the increasing velocity. There we go.